Hi friends, here Dr. Technician, helping you go further, faster in tech. In this video, I am trying to explain how can make this type of logo animation. Before entering to the video, consider subscribing and press bell icon to get notification. Let's get into the video, coming up, first of all, open up After Effects, create new composition. Let's call it logo. Keep settings like this. Put duration of the video 6 seconds. I have already imported all required elements. You can download it from the description. First of all, add imported logo to timeline. I am using transparent logo for better experience. Select the layer and type S to open scale and change size to proper size. Click this icon to create new composition or press Ctrl plus N. Let's call it map and keep composition settings as it is. Add logo composition to timeline. In effects and presets, search tint, add tint effect to logo. Change this color to a little bit gray. And again search, edge. Drag this effect named, find edges to logo layer. Increase percentage of blend with original, to 80 percentage. Again search, fast box blur, and drag to layer. Change blur radius to 1, and iterations to 1. After this, again create new composition. Click this little icon or press Ctrl plus N, rename this composition as light 1. Keep composition settings same as before. Insert both map and logo composition to timeline. Click this little eye to hide map layer. Then select logo layer and search in effect, CC glass. Drag the effect to the layer. Expand surface in CC glass effect. Change bump map to map layer. And reduce values of these three. Change softness height and displacement to zero and expand shading. Change value of ambient to 0. Again diffuse to 0. Increase specular to 100. Metal value to 0. Now move time indicator to 1 second in timeline. Click this little icon of roughness, to create keyframe. And change its value to 0. Again move time indicator to approx 4.5 seconds. Change value to 0.5. When you check the preview, it will be like this. Now, expand light. Here we have to create keyframes for light intensity. Move time indicator to zero. Click this little clock to create first keyframe. And reduce light intensity to zero. Move time indicator to one second. Then increase intensity to 40. Again move time indicator to 4.5. Increase intensity to 300. Change light type, select point light. Then select logo layer and click letter U, to view created keyframes. Select all keyframes, and change assistant to easy ease format. Open graph using this little graph. And click in graph line. And drag this point, to change flow of animation. Set graph like this. After that, let's set light position. Move time indicator to zero. And create keyframe for light position. Here in composition we can see a point. Drag this point to here. Then move time indicator to 4.5. And drop the point back to middle. You can see the light position is changing when we move time indicator. Perfect. Again. Click you to view keyframes. Change keyframes assistant to easy ease of new keyframes. Now, we have to create duplicate copy of light. Just select the composition, and press Ctrl and D. Then open the new light composition. Select logo layer. In effect control, expand surface. Increase softness to 65. Change height value to minus 10 and displacement to minus 200. Then expand shading. Delete keyframes of roughness with click this little clock. Then change value of roughness to 0 
Now you can see the differences in the logo. Expand light. Here we have to change keyframe positions of light intensity. Select logo and click letter U, to open up created keyframes. Place time indicator in 1.5 second. Then drop this keyframe of light intensity to it. Then here we can change value of intensity to 140. Then move time indicator to 4.5 second. Then change intensity to 0. Select light position. We can see the position point is appeared. Move time indicator to 4.5 second. Then drag the position point to left to this position. Then move time indicator to 1.5. Then drag position point to here. Here you can see the movement of position point. Perfect. Next step. Create new composition. As always click this little icon, or press Ctrl and letter N. Put composition name, color, keep all settings like this and click OK. Insert both logo and map composition to timeline. Select logo. And press letter T, to open up opacity. Then place time indicator in 3 seconds. And create keyframe for opacity, and change opacity to 0. Move time indicator to 4.5 second. And increase opacity to 100. When we move time indicator, it will be like this. Then select both keyframes of opacity. And change assistant to easy ease. Insert already imported reflection map to timeline. You can download it from description. And place it top of the layer. And again insert logo composition, place it on top. Change track mat of this layer. Change to alpha mat with logo layer. Then these layers will combine. Then search in effects. Turbulence displace. Drag to reflection map layer. Again search CC glass. Again drag to the reflection layer. In effect control, go to CC glass effect. Expand surface. Change bump map to map. The layer we already added to timeline. Set the value of softness to 0. Height to 20. And displacement to 300. Perfect. Once again search in effects. CC blobalize. Drag to the layer. In effect control, expand blobbiness of the effect. Set blob layer to map. Change value of softness to 10. And cut away to 0. Look at the changes of logo. Next, expand shading of the blobalize. Set ambient as 10. Again diffuse to 10. Keep specular as 100. Roughness to 0.5. And keep metal as 100. Then add an adjustment layer. Click right button in timeline, new. Adjustment layer. Select adjustment layer, and search effect. CC tone. Drag to the layer. Change tuner colors in effects control. In highlight, choose little bit light of a color matched with logo. In midtone, choose little more dark of the same color. In shadows, choose dark shade of the color. Here, let me change midtone to little more light. Perfect. Again select adjustment layer. Search in effect, exposure. Drag to the layer. In effect control, change value of exposure, as 0.1. Select adjustment layer, and press letter T to pop up opacity. Set the time indicator in third second. Create keyframe for opacity. Then move time indicator to 4.5 second. Change opacity to 0, and create second keyframe. Change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Again set time indicator to third second. Select reflection map layer. And press letter T, to view opacity. Create keyframe in third second. 
move time indicator to 5th second. Change the opacity to 0. And create keyframe. When we check preview, it will be like this. Nice. Change keyframe to easy ease. And close opacity of both layers. And open project panel. And create new composition. Using this little button or use control and letter N. Change composition name to text. And keep settings as it is. Insert PNG of logo text to timeline. Press S to scale the layer. Change scale to proper size. Select layer and align in center of the composition. Move time indicator to third second. Press letter T to open opacity. Move time indicator to fourth second. Create keyframe for opacity. Change the opacity to zero. Move time indicator to fifth second. Then change the opacity to 100. When we check preview, it will like this. Perfect. Next and last step is combining all composition we've already created. Create new composition. Change name to final. Keep settings all like before. Change duration to 6 second. First of all, let's create a background. Click right in timeline. New. Solid. Put name as background. Click OK. Search in effects. Fill. Drag fill effect to layer. Change color, whatever you want. For now, I select this color. Then open project panel. Insert color composition to timeline. And insert light one composition. And place top of layer. Select color and change track matte to lumen matte light one, whatever you call that layer. Insert second light composition. Change mode to add. Check out the preview here. Nice. Again search in effect, glow. Drag glow to the layer. Here in effect control, reduce glow threshold to 10%. And change glow intensity to 0.1. Once again add glow effect to the layer. Shrink first glow. And a new glow effect. Again change glow threshold to 10%. And increase glow radius to approx 250. Glow intensity to 0.1 as well. Then search effect, exposure. Add to layer. Set the exposure value to 3. Next effect, search tint. And drag to the layer. Shrink all other effects. In tint. Set color of map white to, to any color that matches with the logo. When you change time indicator position, you can see the changes. Alright. Change the opacity of white to, to 60%. Perfect. And select light to layer in timeline. And press Ctrl and D, to duplicate that layer. Delete glow to and exposure of the duplicate layer. Here, let's close other effects. And search for a new effect. CC Radius Blur. And drag to the layer. Change type of radius to fading zoom. Then place time indicator at the beginning. And create keyframe for amount of radius. Then move indicator to 1.5 second. Change amount to 100. Move indicator to 4.5 second. Reduce amount to zero. Select the layer and click letter U to view created keyframes. Change keyframes assistant to easy ease. Again move time indicator to the beginning. Then create keyframe for center. Drag this radius center point to left part of the composition. And place here. In 1.5 second. Place center point in center of the logo. In 4.5 second. Place point in right part. Approx here. 
perfect. When we see the preview, it will be like this. Again type letter U in the layer to open created keyframes. And change keyframes to easy ease. Open project panel. Add text composition to timeline. Press letter P in the layer to open position. And place here, or wherever you want. Press letter S to view scale. Change scale to appropriate size. Or you can drag the text like this, to anywhere. And move time indicator to 1.20. Drag text layer, and place there. Insert already imported flare to timeline. You can download it along with the other elements from description. Change mode to add. And insert light. Change mode to add. When we move time indicator a little bit, you can see the light. Place time indicator in 1.20. And drag light layer to it. And place the light anywhere in logo like this. Select light layer and press Ctrl and D, to duplicate light. And place the second light in another corner of the logo. Drag duplicate light a little bit forward. When we look through it, it will be like this. Perfect. At last, add smoke to timeline. Again change mode to add. When we play a preview, it will like this. Here, we have to change text position. Text come and go quickly. To fix it, just drag text layer to the beginning. Then play the video. Alright it's fixed. Perfect. To save this created animation, open file menu, export, and add to render queue. Then this box pops up. Here, change output module with click this lossless. In this box, change format to QuickTime. Click this two boxes of crop and resize. And click OK. And change here, output to, and select the folder where you wanted to save the animation. Click render. Then it will start rendering of the animation. And after sometimes, the animation will be saved to the selected folder. This is how we can create this type animation. I hope you followed me and understand better. If you have any doubt, you can mention in comment. Thanks again for checking out this video. If you get any progress in After Effects using this video, give me thumbs up. Definitely subscribe for more videos like this. And again Dr. Technician, helping you go further, faster in graphic design. Keep crushing it we will talk soon.